My name is Joan Severino. And when I uh, finally uh, went to the University of Pennsylvania, we always told stories about how we found folklore. So um, I was an undergraduate anthropology major, master's in anthropology, worked at the Smithsonian at the Museum of African Art, and then I was like, I really want to study my own ethnicity. And I wrote an NEA grant and got to work with my great-grandmother and learn Italian needlework, taking six months off to learn it. So it was one of those mass NEA mass artisan grants. And, uh, and then I thought, you know what, I love Africa, but I really want to get a PhD, which I'd sworn I would never do. And where should I go? Should I do it in anthropology? And so I started looking at programs, and I was always interested in material culture and needlework. I wanted to do something with that. And uh, looking at connections between Appalachia and Calabria, where there had been chain migration. And so um, I, Roy Sieber was the associate director of the Museum of African Art at that point, and I went to talk to Roy. And Roy was this very Santa Claus looking person. He had been a full professor at the University of Indiana. And uh, I said, Roy, I really want to study material culture and you know what he goes, go to Penn. So I looked at other programs and taught, and they were like, no, there's nothing here. You can't do anything with that. So I ended up at Penn, and my first interview at Penn, Don Yoder was there. And I told him about my great-grandmother's hometown in Calabria, and he said, that's a very important town. And then he proceeded to say that Giochino, blessed Giochino, was from San Don and Fiore. And so he just embraced me and said, this is very important. So I felt like I had found my home at Penn because someone was telling me what I wanted to do was very important. 